नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स एज वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द चैप्टर साइंस टुडे आल्सो विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग द सेम चैप्टर इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ डू वी प्रोड्यूस साउंड एंड वी डिड वेरियस एक्टिविटीज एज वेल एज वी सॉ हाउ वेरियस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स प्रोड्यूस साउंड एंड इन टूडे इज क्लास वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग द सेम डिस्कशन विच वी हैड इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास अबाउट साउंड स्टूडेंट्स do you agree that we humans produce sound if we produce sound how do we produce sound those are very obvious question which comes to our mind because presently i am producing sound you are listening to me in the previous video i had sir explained about the things he was also producing sound you was you were listening to it now how do we produce sound that is a very obvious question now let us look into that if you look at the uh, uh, this place and if you place your fingers and if you try to uh, try to uh, uh, imitate swallowing process like this then you can feel some uh, movement over here right that movement is because of the voice box that is our larynx now because of that voice box or larynx we produce sound and now you must be very excited about how does this voice box produce sound that is a very obvious question which may be coming into your mind so voice box is at the upper end of the windpipe two vocal cords are stretched across voice box or larynx in such a way that it leaves a narrow slit between them for the passage of air when the lungs force air through the slit the vocal cords vibrate producing sounds muscle attached to the vocal cords can make the cords tight or loose when the vocal cords are tight and thin the type or quality of sound is different from that when they are loose and thick do you know that different people have different voices and that depends on the working of our uh, vocal cords now if the vocal cords are thick then there is a production of different sound if it is thin there is a thin passage of air between that there is completely a different sound you must be always uh, thinking about why does your father have a different voice why does your mother have a different voice why do you have a different voice why i have a different voice you must be thinking about this now the answer lies in the working of your vocal cords we can feel this uh, with the help of some activities which can be done very very well at your home itself do you know students we can see how our vocal cords work for this we'll do two activities which you can perform very easily at your home and you can uh, understand how the vocal cord works for the first experiment we'll be needing two rubber strips uh, this you can get it anywhere two rubber strips now what i want you to do is just stretch it stretch it and then blow some air through it so you can hear a sound being produced over here okay so here what we did we stretched it and there was a gap in between uh, these two rubber strips and as we blowed the air there was a production of sound now we'll see one more activity uh, for which we have to take one paper now fold this paper as i say one fold then two folds and then the third fold make sure the folds are not very big not very small you can take small papers as well now the folds are like this now as you can see one fold and the other side the other fold and there is a it it is like this it's it should be uh, working like this then make a small hole with the help of scissor or you can uh, do it with your hand as well okay now a a a medium sized hole when you play and then 
hold it like this or if the paper is small you can hold it like this as well make sure that this portion is outside and you are blowing air from this part of uh, the activity now uh, there is a gap over here so we'll try to blow air and let's see what happens So you can see how loud voice it can create just by blowing air into this right now what is happening again there is a gap in between and I have made a structure from where the uh, from where the air can pass on right this is what happens in our vocal cords as well and that's how our vocal cords produce sound. These are the two activities which you can demonstrate at home, which you can uh, make at home and enjoy and visualize the working of vocal cords. So we will understand this in detail. From this activity, we generalize that our vocal cords also works in a similar manner. Now can you think about why does your parents and me and you have a different voice? Why does males have a different voice and why does females have a different voice? Now can you make a guess, you can pause the video over here and you can think about this question for some time. Now the answer lies in the size of the vocal cords. The vocal cord in men are approximately 20 mm long millimeter long in the case of women it is 15 meters long while in the case of children it is very 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 small and that is why you must have felt that the children's voice are pretty louder compared to uh, the men and women at your home you can very easily observe that all the male people have a different kind of voice like the, the, the voice will be very heavy, you can observe in my voice as well. But when you observe the female counterparts, the voice is very thin. So that is because of the size of the vocal cords. Now after this very discussion, you must be thinking that how is the voice getting reached to us? Suppose you are calling your friend for playing or having a discussion, you call Mr. X, come here. Now, if that person is at a particular distance, how will he or she will listen to your voice? That is an obvious question. There is a particular distance amongst you, you and the other person. There is a distance. Now, how is he able to listen to your voice? How is he able to listen to the sound? That is the question. Now, we will be performing some activities based on this so that you can understand how the sound travels to a particular distance and at the same time in different mediums as well. We reached to a question that how does sound travel? How does your friend able to hear you? How your friend is able, uh, how are you able to hear your friend? Or how are you able to hear me, right? These all things uh, come in a way like how sound travels. So for this we'll do one activity. You need a big uh, tumbler that can be glass tumbler or any uh, anything. I have a plastic tumbler. Then I have a sound producing object. We have mobile here. Now I'll play a sweet song over here. Now let's see what happens. Now you, you can hear the sound. Now here you heard the sound and the sound was pretty high. When I increase the volume obviously it will increase. So let's have, let's see what happens when we put it in tumbler. Right? The sound increased. Okay? Now we'll get on to extend the activity. Now I'll put both of my hands over here. Uh, let's see what happens to the sound. Right? As you can see, as I put my hand over this, completely trying to close all the possible directions from where the air can go in, 
the sound reduced the volume of the sound reduced now let's take the activity as one step ahead now what i'll do i'll put the put it like this and i'll try to suck air whatever the gap i have over here uh, it's uh, let's see what happens can you uh, you can see observations you can observe this activity and you will have a greater understanding of how sound travels so let's see it now you would have observed that when i started to suck air from the tumbler the sound further reduced that means the traveling of sounds need air over here we saw air but to generalize this we can say that traveling sound needs a medium like if if you want to hear someone or talk to someone there should be a medium in between that will be the reason why we can hear sound or say something to someone that's how sound travels and that with this activity we can very easily generalize that sound needs a medium to travel as i was removing the air from the tumbler this we uh, the sound volume reduced as i put my hands on the tumbler i obstructed the path of air to go inside there is no no not much air going inside and at that particular situation as well we observed that the volume of sound reduced now if somehow we uh, remove complete air from inside we create a vacuum is it possible that the sound will travel you can think about this and obviously the answer will be no every time the sound travels we need a medium as we discussed sound needs a medium to travel we saw the example and the activity of uh, sound traveling through air now the obvious question will be can sound travel through water as well how does the water in animals in water communicate that will be obvious question so let us perform an activity and try to understand whether is it possible that we can hear sound from the water like uh, can the sound travel through water here i have a ringing bell right you can hear the voice now what i'll do i'll put that in water and try to put my ear very near to the water now why if i do like this the sound is very less right i'm i'm trying to bringing the bell with the same intensity but when i put that in water i can hear very less sound but the catch comes when you put your ears on the water because it is traveling through water and then again there is a air medium over here and it's coming to me now what i'll do i'll try to reduce the air medium try to put the ear on the edge of the water please be careful when you are performing this activity that uh, water doesn't go to your ear be careful in that okay now what i'll do i'll ring it here and yes now i can hear the sound of this ringing bell loud and clear now you can perform this activity with the tumbler it need not be a glass tumbler uh, it can be any tumbler i i used glass tumbler so that you can see the ringing of the bell as well okay you can use any tumbler steel tumbler you would be having at your home the plastic tumbler which is which i used to take uh, uh, wash clothes you can use that and with the help of that you can very easily understand that sound even travels through water okay and you can very easily answer yourself where is the sound more in air the traveling of sound is uh, faster in air or in water you can answer it for yourself now the obvious question would be does the sound travel in solid as well let us do one more activity for that this is a very simple activity to understand how sound travels through solids now if i knock this we can hear a sound but that's very feeble sound now what happens when i knock it and try to put my ear on the desk 
you might be playing with this many times in your class what i need to ask you is when you are doing thing uh, doing this try to observe sound the intensity of the sound where is the sound loud and where is the sound uh, less like when we hear it like this or when i put my ear and then knock it where will be the sound more now with this you can observe very clearly that sound even travels through solid medium as well there is a very good uh, experiment for this gramophone you would have heard you can make that and you can also understand how the sound travels through solids so these are a few bunch of experiments which we used to understand how sound travels through a medium through air water and then solids from these activities we generalize that the sound needs a medium to propagate either it can be a solid medium it can be a liquid medium or it can be air as a medium but sound cannot travel in vacuum that is very clear for us with these activities in the activity we saw that when we try to remove the air the sound the volume of the sound decreases and that is why for the propagation of sound we need a medium now in a medium the sound waves travels from one place to another and we are able to hear each other you are able to hear me uh, probably i'm not able to hear you but you are able to hear your friends in and around you dear students now we'll try to revise what we have learned throughout the class with the help of a few questions the question number 1 is how do we humans produce sound the answer to this is very obvious we discussed about in the beginning of the class with the few activities that we produce sound with the help of our voice cord or larynx now the second question is what is the length of the vocal cords in males yes you guessed it right it is 20 mm long and that is why the uh, sound of the males is very thick and it's very loud the question number 3 is sound travels in which medium to reach us i'm my sound is reaching to you with a different medium do not think about that because it is electronic medium uh, there is there are different things come uh, involved there but when you are talking with your friends what is the medium through which the sound is traveling yes you guessed it right it is the air as a medium with which you are able to listen to your friends and communicate with them now you can try uh, try this out in a swimming pool when you are uh, in the swimming pool try to contact your friends try to talk with your friends inside water do not try it if you are not good at swimming the next question would be suppose we are ringing a bell in the vacuum you have a jar you removed all the air from it and there is a bell ringing inside that jar will you be able to hear the sound you can experiment it with the help of few mediums that activity you can design it yourself that's a thinking exercise for you will you be able to hear the sound that's the question yes you guessed it very right we will not be able to hear the sound because traveling of sound needs a medium in vacuum there is no medium and hence will not be able to hear the sound i hope you enjoyed the complete class and you learned various things about that sound uh, we produce sound with the help of uh, vocal cords and uh, the male count male female children me you everybody has different voice based on their sizes of the vocal cord and we learned about the different way of propagation of sound that is uh, air wa water and solids now the question which i leave you with in today's class is in which medium the traveling of the sound is the maximum is it the maximum in air which we generally contact with or is it maximum in solid or water the question is open for you all you can have a thorough uh, discussion 
with your teacher or with your friends on this particular topic or you can experiment it and you can comment below or you can uh, discuss with your teacher on this question. Thank you so much. We'll meet in the next class, next session. Namaste.